Okay, students. Now we are in the very important topic, very difficult questions on the abnormal solutions. Okay, so that's why I am going to discuss maximum number of questions because most of the models expected from this topic only. Okay, the main problem arises when to use normal uh, colligative properties and when to use this formula. That is only the problem people are facing. Okay, so first numericals on um, abnormal and theoretical concept also will be applied. That's why I have written as a numerical and questions on abnormal solution. Like this is appear to be numerical but not a numerical. Okay, let's see how it is, and I will explain the short tricks and how to remember and how to apply the concept on the questions. Okay, so theory already we have uh, thoroughly revised. Thoroughly gone through that video lecture, I think. So let us start with the numerical session or question session. So one mole each of the following, one mole each of the following compound dissolved in one liter of solution. So solute moles also same, solvent also same. Okay, which will be having largest delta T B. Okay, now see all of them are given halogen acids. Hydrazides of halogen. Any guess? You try to guess and think it in your mind. Which concept to be applied? Okay. Applied. Okay. Now listen. Answer. Okay. Answer. If I tell you, then also some people will not be able to understand why it is. Okay. You may think because of the mass. Okay. So actually, these are all acids. Hydrazides. Okay. So they will dissociate. Acid means which can dissociate into H positive and A minus. Here A minus is halogen. Okay, and different halogens will uh, dissociate. Degree of dissociation will be different. Okay, so higher degree of dissociation will be there in strong acid. Lower degree of dissociation will be there in weak acids. Among the weak acid is what HF. Strong acid is HI. I think you remember. If not remembered, the logic how to identify. Go to the seventeenth group in my playlist. Playlist. There is a hydrazide. There is a separate lecture. Okay, seventeenth group. In seventeenth group, hydrazide topic is there. The logic I have told you. There, there is a different logic for oxoacids. There is a different logic for the hydrazides. Okay, so H I is stronger. H I E strong acid. Okay, so once we say uh, say it is a strong, that means degree of dissociation is more. Okay, once degree of dissociation is more, so for A B type, in the video lecture I told you one plus alpha. So alpha is more, I will be more. Okay, so if I is more, delta T B is equal to I into K B into molality. Okay. So molality here everybody same one mole and solvent also same. Okay, Kb is always same for same solvent. So left over with I value. Higher the I value, higher will be the delta Tb. Higher I value is for HF. That's why answer is H. Sorry, higher uh, I value is for HA because it is a strong acid. Okay, so I value more, so delta Tb also will be more. First question is a conceptual question, and how to apply that abnormality, Vantov factor, degree of dissociation, and P block all combined together like this multi concept questions. Simply going through the theory and thinking that I can answer is a very, very bad thing. Okay. So, how the concept is to be applied? Those days I have gone that if you learn a paragraph and all questions based on that paragraph, you will be able to do. It is not like that nowadays. Okay. So, first question clear. Learn something new. Ready for the next question? Okay. Okay. Next question is here. It is entirely different concept, different model question. Okay. So that was appearing to be numerical, but not numerical. It appearing to be numerical, but different numerical as it does not appear. Okay. So let's see the question and I will explain. You will try and check with your solution. Okay. So point one molarity solution of KCL and BACL2. 
point one molarity of KCl and BaCl two both have same concentration. Okay, and freezing point of KCl is given, and we have to find out freezing point of BaCl two. You may think that with one boil, one freezing point, how we can find out the another freezing point? That is the main problem in the questions. Okay, so if you have logic, you do it and try it. Pause it and try, it, then cross check with my solution. Okay, paused. Next. Okay, so I will explain it now. I hope that you have done it correct only. Okay, so here. Same solution, same solvent. That means delta T uh, freezing point. Delta T F is equal to I into K F into molality or molarity. Okay. For this type of solution, it won't matter anything. Molality and molarity. Don't worry about that. Okay. So there are two types of solute. One is for the uh, what is the first solution? K C L. Okay. For KCl, this I will be different, okay. But KF will be same, and both are concentration also same, okay. So same way, delta TF. Another solution is of BaCl2, okay. Is equal to I of BaCl2. I of BaCl2. KF is same, and molality is same. Okay, because they depend up this, they both depend upon the solvent. Solvent is same, concentration is same. Okay, so why to find out and substitute here? Just divide both of them. What you will do? Divide both of them. Okay, then you will get the other answer. Is it understood? So we will make our own formula as per our own requirement. Okay. So directly, I will write it as what I have to find out freezing point of BaCl2. So delta T F of BaCl2 divided by delta T F of KCl is equal to I of BaCl2 divided by I of KCl. Is it understood, students? Now delta T F of B A C L two. That is what we will find out. Okay, in this place K C L, freezing point of K C L. Actually, water value is zero minus of minus two. So delta T F will be how much plus two. Delta T F will be how much plus two. Like that simple logic. Whatever the freezing point he gives, that itself is delta T F if the solvent is water. If something other than that, it will be clearly mentioned. If it is water, you will not mention. Okay. Now, how you will come to know that it is abnormal solution? Simple. They are electrolytes. Salts are electrolyte. BaCl2, KCl. They are salt or not? Mainly, if question uh, contains urea, glucose, sucrose, these are the main things. They are non-electrolytes, so they will act as a normal solution. And other things normally, what they will do, they will dissociate, and you will come to know that this type of formula is to be used. Okay, so at this place, what you will substitute? You will substitute two BaCl2. BaCl2 is which type? AB2 type. Which type? AB2 type. In the theory, I told you. So 100%. 100% means one minus zero. Uh, I will erase this and I will clearly explain so that it should not be problem in other everywhere. It will be like that hundred percent complete dissociation. Okay, so I will explain here. B A C L two gives B A two plus plus two C L minus. Okay, this is before. Then after before will be one zero zero. Okay. And after will be one minus complete dissociation. Alpha is equal to one, so this will be one. This will be one. I is equal to after upon before. After is how much? Zero plus one plus one divided by one plus zero plus zero. It is equal to two. Okay, equal to two or not? Sorry, here it is two Cl, so it will be two. And it will be two, and it will be three. 
okay so i value is how much for this it is 0 plus 1 plus 2 so it is equal to 3 i value will be 3 okay and kcl in place in uh, place of the kcl it is k and it is going to be k and it is going to be cl minus okay so this is going to be 1 this is going to be 1 this is going to be 2 and finally i'm going to get 2 okay so this is how I clearly explained now in future kcl2 particle 100 percent associate dissociation 2 bacl2 100 percent dissociation means number of particles itself is equal to i value okay one barium two chlorine three particles that's why k uh, i value is equal to three k plus and cl minus two particle therefore i is equal to two is it understood students now this is the delta tf this is the tf of bacl2 okay now all okay now should i erase this so what you will come to know it will go that side you go that side or stay this side only two and two will get cancelled so delta tf of bacl2 is three so freezing point decreased by three so actual freezing point will be how much minus three okay delta tf is equal to three that means freezing point is equal to minus three see how confusing options okay question is about the not delta tf if question is about delta tf answer is three if question is about freezing point answer will be minus three is it understood any doubt in this one okay if you got any doubt in this one then you will not be able to understand further question this is the very basic twistless question okay so let us start with the next question okay some more in-depth questions some more different model questions okay an aqua solution of nacl shows a depression freezing point equal to equal to okay 0 0.372 kelvin the boiling point of bacl2 at the same molality of the same molality solution will be okay see here everything is changed at least in the previous question depression freezing point of one solution is given and another solution depression he is asking but here one solution is of nacl another solution of bacl2 one solution is freezing point is given another solution boiling point is asking how different it is okay and but only thing two things are same what are the two things same molality of the both solution is same and solvent is water in both of them solvent is same so what do you what does it mean it means that kf uh, sorry kf and kb will be different and molality is same you can cancel out when you divide both of them okay okay you want options you will try okay i will give you options okay here comes the options you can give a try and tell me the answer or you yourself can self judge okay now i am explaining stay with me okay so here two different solutions two different things are given for nacl delta tf is equal to i into kf into molality for bacl to boiling point that's why i have written separately delta tb is equal to i into kb into molality okay so delta tf already given depression freezing point is 0 0.372 na1 and cl2 so that's why i is equal to 2 if nothing degree of dissociation is not given and it is a electrolyte you take i is equal to number of particles okay and kf already given as 1.86 okay now delta tb depression in uh, sorry elevation in boiling point we want okay and i for ba1 barium 2 chlorine it is going to be 3 kb is equal to 0 0.5 how much it is how much it is 0 0.52 and molality both are same so better what you will do you will divide this one by two okay this is required so two by one will be better option 2 by 1 will be delta tb 
on left side and delta tf is equal to i into kb into molality divided by i into kf into molality same molality told that will get cancelled but not anything else so delta tb we want is equal to uh, it is 0 0.372 what it is 0 0.372 i delta tb this is for this it is equal to 3 and for it is equal to 2 and kb is equal to 0 0.52 divided by 1.86 okay so on simplifying on simplifying this on simplifying this you will get delta tb as 0 0.156 but it is not answer question is about the boiling point okay so boiling point will be uh, water boiling point is how much 100 and this much will be increased 0 0.156 so final boiling point answer is 100.156 what is answer 100.156 i think d option it was given in d option so d option is correct is it understood now third model is it understood okay okay next question is here 12 gram of urea dissolved in 1 liter of water 68.4 grams of sucrose dissolved in 1 liter of water solute mass is different but the solvent volume is same and question is lowering of vapor pressure of urea in comparison to sucrose how it is both are equal or different so it is equal to sucrose second greater than sucrose third less than sucrose and fourth is double to sucrose okay what do you feel okay see how to solve this this is just a theoretical small numerical okay small numerical see lowering of vapor pressure depend upon the moles of solute more moles more will be the mole fraction more will be the molality okay here in both condition volume of water is same so moles of water will be same so we will find out simply moles if both moles are same then lowering of vapor pressure also will be same okay and remember one thing here urea also does not dissociate sucrose also does not dissociate okay so if they dissociate then we will take the i also into account is it understood now i am not taking i into account because both are organic or both are substances which does not dissolve or dissociate okay so let us find out number of moles of urea is equal to 12 divided by micro mass how much good 60 so it is going to be 0.2 okay now for sucrose 68.4 divided by how much it is uh, 342 sucrose molecular mass is 342 one ja 342.2 ja so once both moles are same mole fraction will be same lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure formula is mole fraction of solute right side you will find out so both moles are same and moles of solvent is also same so mole fraction will be same so equal to sucrose what is the answer a option is it understood let's start with next question okay we are into the next concept next uh, model question freezing point of equimolal molality of same aqua solution solvent same freezing point he want highest very very important he is asking freezing point or depression freezing point that is also matters okay he is asking freezing point highest that should be near by zero not much less than the zero okay so nothing else is given so how you will do it any guess you try to guess then i will explain all molality is same okay good so delta tf is equal to i into kf into molality so from this molality same constant kf is same constant that means delta tf directly proportional to i value okay 
So here it will break into two particles. So I will be approximately two. Here it will break into three particle. I will be three. Break into three particle. I will be three. And here I will be one. It is a glucose. Okay. So once it is a, I is equal to minimum. So delta T F will be minimum. Always remember this. From zero, the depression is minimum. That means it will be nearby. Okay. So nearby zero means highest only. Very important thing I am telling you. Keep it in mind and carefully listen. If question is highest depression in freezing point, then these two will be answer. Highest freezing point. This will be answer. Why? Because suppose it is depressed by minus one. So freezing point is how much minus one. This will depress by how much minus three. So freezing point will be minus three, and here freezing point will be minus two. Okay. So highest freezing point is which one? This one. And highest change depression freezing point is which one? This one. Okay. Lowest freezing point or highest depression in freezing point? Okay. Delta T F is asking. Otherwise, T F lowest is asking. Okay. Then they both will be directly proportional to high I value. Okay, so higher the I freezing point will be lowest because there is a word used depression. Okay, so I increases depression increases so value will decrease. Is it understood? So answer when to write what is it understood now? Okay, so here answer is D option. Why D option? Simple again. I am explaining. Its I value will be less. So depression is less. What will be less? Depression will be less. Once depression is less, freezing point will be highest. Okay. So that's about the this question. So there is another conceptual question, and to avoid the confusion only, this question is created. Okay. Which of the following? 0.1 molarity aqua solution that means all of them have same molality and all of them solvent also same so freezing point lowest so what on what it will depend see delta tf is equal to i into kf into molality molality for everybody same solvent is same so kf will be same so what is changing i value changing and now you should concentrate what he is asking. Freezing point lowest. For freezing point lowest, delta TF should be highest. Okay. If delta TF wanted to be highest, then I value should be highest. Okay. Now who can tell me the I value here? Completing, considering, cons uh, complete dissociation, it is going to be 5. And it is going to be how much? 1. It is going to be how much? 2. And it is going to be how much one? Okay, these are they are don't dissociate into ions. Okay, it will give into K and Cl two and two aluminium three sulfate. So it is five. So I value is highest. Freezing point is decreased by more value. So freezing point will be lowest for this. Is it understood? How to solve the questions on comparison? Okay. Okay, now next question is with even alpha is given how to find out. Okay, so 0.2 molal That means m is equal to 0. You want you can try. Okay, no problem options are also given pause it and Try it. Okay, so 0.2 molal acid and hx That is a b type. Okay, so hx will give you h plus plus x minus 1 0 0 1 minus degree of dissociation is 20 percent so this will be 0.2 this will be 0.2 and this will be 0.2 okay so i is equal to after upon before 1 minus 0.2 plus 0.2 plus 0.2 already derivation part i told you 1 plus alpha it will come Okay, plus 0.2 minus 0.2. So I is equal to how much? 1 plus 0 0.2 is equal to 1.2. Okay, so answer will be answer will be how much it is? 
वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट टू दैट इज वन पॉइंट टू आई बाई वॉट एज ए वन पॉइंट टू एंड के एफ ऑलरेडी गिवेन वन पॉइंट एट सिक्स वॉट ही वॉन्ट फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट लेट एस फाइंड आउट डेल्टा टी एफ ओके सो डेल्टा टी एफ विल बी डेल्टा टी एफ फॉर्मूला विल बी डेल्टा टी एफ इज इक्वल टू आई इंटू के एफ इंटू मोलिटी ओके सो ऑन सब्सटीट्यूटिंग एवरीबडी ओके ऑन सब्सटीट्यूटिंग एवरीबडी वॉट आंसर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव ऑन सिंप्लीफाइंग एंड सब्सटीट्यूटिंग आई हियर ओके वन पॉइंट टू के एफ वन पॉइंट एट सिक्स एंड इट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू हाउ मच यूल गेट ऑलमोस्ट जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव ओके जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव यू विल गेट ना वन सीट इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव इट इज नॉट आंसर आंसर इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव दैट मच डिक्रीज विल ओके जीरो माइनस डिक्रीज बाय जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव द आंसर विल बी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव इज इट अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट ओके शेल वी गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन here this question is created so that this question is created so that the freezing point of a solution containing 0.1 gram of k3fecn6 okay 1. Point, uh, 0.1 gram of k3fecn6 molecular weight of 329 in 100 grams of water and kf is equal to 1.86 okay so here main problem people are facing because of this okay you should know that k3 k3 fe cn6 will dissociate to give 3 moles of potassium this square bracket will be as it is okay so this will be fe cn6 fe cn6 it is going to be 3 minus so i value will be 3 and 1 here so i is going to be how much it is 4 okay is it understood i is equal to how much it is 4 okay so from the formula we could come to know i is equal to 4 and what else we want to freezing point of the solution so delta tf is equal to i is equal to how much 4 into kf is equal to 1.86 into molality molality is 0.1 gram divided by molecular mass molecular mass also given 329 whole divided by uh, 100 gram that means 0.1 kilogram okay 
so by simplifying whatever you will get that is depression freezing point but answer will be minus answer will be what in minus okay so answer i got is 2.3 into 10 to the power of minus 2 2.3 into 10 to the power of minus 2 so the final answer will be minus 2.3 into 10 to freezing point this is depression this is freezing point the difference i think you understood okay so that's all for the day i think now you are perfect in all questions bye bye see you